So, today's the day. <clears throat> A Angel Carving Tutorial Part 2. I'm going to teach you how to turn this, the 3x3x6 three by three by um, block of butternut that we marked up in the last video, into this. Okay? It's pretty windy <clears throat> outside today, so... Um, I'm probably going to do most of this video in a time lapse, <clears throat> a slower time lapse, okay? <clears throat> so, if it, if it ends up <clears throat> being too fast, <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> but if it ends up being too fast to follow, just leave a comment, let me know, and I'll uh, do another one on, on a nicer day i just i'm just itching to carve and so here we go all right guys so before we get started i apologize about the wind um i got two new burrs the longer um extreme cylinder burr and the extreme rotary saw that i'm gonna be testing out <coughs> today so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove all this waste wood between the wings. So, now I'm going to switch over to a time lapse and we'll get carving. Okay, so right here, <clears throat> I'm testing out my new rotary saw. It's it's a really good burr, but more of a detailer to me than yeah. So now I'm using the three quarter inch sphere burr, just feathering away. You always want to start at the top of the angel and work your way down because you're going to remove more wood at the top than at the bottom. Okay? So, that's what I'm doing here. And I apologize for all the movement of the um camera like i said it was a windy day but also i wanted to get this done so hadn't made a video in a while and haven't carved in a while so i just went on and done it but right there i was using the longer extreme cylinder burr testing it out and it's I wouldn't recommend it for major feathering like this but it's still a good burr it was still removing the wood and all that great <laughs> Thank you. 
right now I'm switching to my cylinder burr, the shorter one, to start shaping. It's always a good idea, I think, to kind of shape as you go. And I mean, when you're feathering, um, if you can, uh, I just cut in the face there, but if you can start the shaping process when you're feathering, then that's to your advantage when it comes to the detailing. So, yeah. Now I'm rounding off the skirt or gown or whatever you want to call it. Okay, <clears throat> so what I did in that time lapse is a basic feather of right here between the wings, okay? I went a whole lot deeper up here than I did down here because this is going to be shaped, rounded off into the uh, gown, okay? Now, for the time being, we're going to work this corner out and <clears throat> I'm going <clears> to <throat> feather the, this side of the wing back just a little bit because we probably got between a half inch and three quarters of an inch on each wing to work with. Now, you don't want to go too narrow, uh, too thin with it, but I, I want the wings to set back um just a little bit and so now now we're gonna feather um, all this okay so again i'm gonna switch to time lapse and let's get it done because it's cold out here with the wind blowing <laughs> All right, I'm using my shorter extreme cylinder burr. Again, I'm just rounding off that corner, right? deleting that corner, okay? So that's what's going on right now. I'm putting in my cut marks below the arms here and uh, rounding off below the arms okay so cut marks or cut lines i mean even in power carving are important if you ask me because they set that if you put the cut lines in to the depth that you want to <clears throat> feather, then once you get everything and to that level and work your way up or to or down from your cut lines, then you'll have it. Just like right here when I'm doing the wings. I put my cut lines in above the arms and work my way out. So. All right, so we got the basic roughed out angel. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the arms just a little bit below the praying hands and because I'm not going to do it too much because I can't take uh, any more away from the wing or else it'll be too thin and too weak okay and then I've got uh, some more areas marked like right here I'm gonna um, try to make this wing more symmetrical to this wing 
And a trick I learned from Cousin Jack, if you hold your carving upside down and look at it, for some reason it really does help you to see the um, symmetry, okay? So try it out, all right? And so I'm gonna time lapse this and then, um, so, and then I don't think I'm gonna sand it today because it's too windy and cold out here and, and my lips are already chapped. <laughs> so, but I'll finish the carving. So I, I'm gonna uh, take away some more from, just a little more from back here to, and kind of smooth it out some. And uh, right here on the side, on the right side here, I'm gonna round that off some more. And then just right here, I'm gonna uh, round it off. And then just, so at this point, it's just a little bit of here and there type stuff, okay? So now I'm gonna quit talking and finish her up so I can get inside and warm up while I'm editing this video. And here I am using my Quetzal Extreme Flame Burr. So, and I switched to my Cylinder Burr as well. That Cuts all extreme cylinder burr is very handy for ra rounding things off and just general feathering, <clears throat> especially if you want to get to a good depth. So, okay, so <clears throat> here we are. Um, all all I got to do yet is sand her down, and I'll probably do that tomorrow. So. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button <coughs> and <coughs> definitely share and <coughs> all that and guys thanks again for all your support cousin Jack you're awesome I hope you like this video and so but until next time keep on carving and so i love y'all y'all are awesome till next time peace out